those who are not successful think if you read ten points in a book, you're going to be successful. What does success look like? What does it take? Without any kind of influence, you must stay by yourself. If you enable yourself, other people will say you're a success. <laughs> if there are tips for success, everybody would have been successful. There are no tips for success and so on, you got to do a million things. Only those who are not so successful or those who are not successful think somewhere if you read ten points in a book, you're going to be successful. Those who are successful, they know, they stand on their head and do circus on a daily basis, okay? <laughs> Only in the parties they stand up straight, rest of the time they are on their head, <laughs> okay? <laughs> we need to understand this. If you want to be successful, don't seek success. What you seek is competence. If you enable yourself and if you do something well, other people will say you're a success. If you think I'm a success, it's foolish, isn't it? You're doing something and you're doing it well, other people in the town or in the country or in the world, people will say, oh, he's doing something really successful. They're looking up to you, that's fine. You look up to yourself, that's madness, okay? You don't seek success, you seek empowerment, you seek competence. You do the best that you can do. You cannot do as well as somebody, but you can do the best that you can do. So if you do your best, if your best is good enough, world will recognize. If it is not, you will be happy. <laughs> so, uh, what does success look like? What does it take? Well, uh, you know, I know family and friends who always have their breakfast on time. And after breakfast, of course, they must have coffee. After coffee, of course, they must light up a cigarette and uh, sit there nicely because they're trying to become peaceful. And then they will go to work, come back home exactly on time for lunch, eat lunch, rest for one or two hours, sleep, then evening have one tea and then smoke, and then again go to work. And at eight, eight o'clock, eight thirty, they're back home for dinner and then maybe other things, drink and this and that and whatever. But those who have been very successful, either in music, sport, art, business, spiritual process, doesn't matter what, those people <laughs> never know when they ate, when they slept, when they got afternoon rest. I have not seen such a thing in my life. <laughs> so, uh, those who are committed to being successful with whatever they are doing, one important aspect of their life is they are not settling down wherever it's a bit comfortable. Because comfort will happen when they lower you to in the grave, very comfortable you are. No? Right now, it's about ensuring that there is profoundness of experience and there is impactfulness of activity. Because if they had given you a limitless amount of time, you could do all those things, nothing wrong, I'm not against them. But they gave you such little time with such tremendous potential of being human, that's the problem. For every one of you, your life is precious, isn't it? It's a precious life. If something is precious, where do you want to invest this life? Because what you call as my life is just a certain amount of time and energy, isn't it? Yes? As you sit here, your life is ticking away or no? What is ticking away is not time, what is ticking away is your life. Yes or no? So this energy that you call as my life, 
How are you going to invest it? Because it's going to get… if you're doing something truly worthwhile, it gets over before you know what happened. Only if you're doing something worthless, it feels like a long life. Have you noticed this on a particular day when you're very happy, twenty-four hours, poof, it went off like that like a moment? You're miserable, twenty-four hours feels like ten years. Have you not noticed this? So only miserable people will have a long life. Joyful people, life goes away like that, as if it's a couple of days, it passes away like that, if you are creating what you really care to create. So one thing that every young person should do is, without the influence of the peers of your own age group, without the influence of your professors and your parents, without the any kind of influence, somewhere you must stay by yourself, at least for two, three days and look at it. What is it that I want to invest this precious life into? What is it that will be worthwhile today and worthwhile after fifty years for me to invest myself into? You invest your life into that, whatever it is. However small, big, it doesn't matter. If you see that this is something truly worthwhile and you invest your life in that, this will be a life of fulfillment.